And now please direct your attention to center court and welcome Heat Original and television play-by-play -play announcer, Eric Reed. Good evening, the Heat Nation here at Kaseya Center and around the world. We have celebrated so many special moments in Heat history in our 36 years. And trust me, tonight is one of those moments. It's the greatest Miami Heat story ever told about a young man born and raised in Miami who became a 16-year captain, the leading rebounder in the history of the franchise, the greatest leader in the history of the franchise, and one of just three NBA players ever to spend 20 years with one team. Kobe, Dirk, and UD. Tonight, Udonis joins his rightful and earned place on the Miami Heat's forever team. He will be the sixth number retired. All you'll have to do forever is look up to the rafters to remember and appreciate. Udonis, you did it, brother. You did it. Let's get on with the program. I want to introduce the people to my left. Pat Riley, Heat President, Basketball Operations. Mickey Arison, Managing General Partner. Nick Arison, CEO. Andy Ellisberg, General Manager, Executive Vice President of Basketball Operations. Alonzo Mourning, Basketball Hall of Famer, Vice President of Player Programs, retired number 33. Tim Hardaway, Basketball Hall of Famer, Heat legend, retired number 10. Dwayne Wade, Hall of Famer, the Heat legend, retired number three. We also have with us the first head coach in Miami Heat history, Ron Rothstein. Shane Battier, two-time champ with the Heat. Mario Chalmers, two-time champ with the Heat. Goran Dragic, one of the most beloved players in franchise history. Quinton Richardson, who gave us his heart and soul in the 09-10 season. Jason Williams on that 2006 first ever championship team. Darrell Wright, oh, we remember you when you were just a young man on that first championship team. And of course, the head coach of the Miami Heat and his staff, Welcome Eric Spolstra to this beautiful night. Now to my right, Udonis Haslam and his wife Faith. Their three children, Elijah Haslam, Josiah Haslam, and Kadonis Haslam. And those empty seats you see are in memory of Johnny Haslam, Deborah Haslam, and Barbara Wooten. More on them in just one moment. Udonis, we have several gifts for you from the Heat organization. I want to direct your attention to our left. First, a $50,000 donation to the Udonis Haslam Family Foundation from the Heat Charitable Fund. A game-worn jersey hand-painted by Dissom, the artist who created the famous Udonis Haslam mural in Wynwood. There's the replica jersey banner, so Udonis can take home a piece of tonight and his history, and a personalized special edition bomber jackets for Udonis and his family. All right? We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Udonis, we want to go back to your parents for a moment. We know they were your biggest supporters. They were staples here at the Heat's house for every game. Everybody that knows you and knows them knows how proud they were of you, how much they loved you and enjoyed sharing your career with you. Check out this video. It is so wonderful to watch your child fulfill his dream. He's humble. He's grateful, he's thankful to be where he is. That's something he always wanted to do, play in the NBA, and I knew once he got the opportunity that uh, he'll never look back. Now Udonis has him, but what would tonight be without celebrating those who help Udonis get to where he is right now? And those seats that, that we see in front of us right there, those are the very seats 
where Udonis's parents sat and watched him play, the late and oh so great Johnny Haslam, Deborah Haslam, and Barbara Wooten. Each night they watch Udonis as only a parent could during your 20 year journey from undrafted underdog to Miami Heat legend and the Heat have pulled those seats from their former location in the arena, etched their names in gold and now those seats will go home with Udonis and his family. In addition, as a gift and tribute to your legacy Udonis, the Heat have installed three new seats in their place also identified with the names of your parents to remain in the house that you helped build, forever connecting the Haslam name as a part of Miami Heat history. What do you want me to dance? That was a great moment. Uh, back in 2006, uh, the opportunity to win our first world championship. Uh, I recall that, that game in the fourth quarter when everything was on the line. Uh, besides having Dwayne Wade and Zoe sort of dominate that game. In the fourth quarter, it was UD making three or four great jumpers and plays. You remember every single one of them that helped us win that first title. Yes, and we're back there. One of those three. It's his day today. It's a sad day for me personally. It's a great day for, I think, the city of Miami uh, because above us uh, are players uh, who will go down in the history of this franchise as some of the greatest players that we've ever had. Obviously, we hang their jerseys with their name on it. Uh, they're right over here. We don't have Chris Bosh here or Shaquille O'Neal, but we're going to put up another one. And I like this. I like the fact that we have an opportunity with everybody bearing witness, and especially his family, and all of you, and whoever is next back there of the young players that are playing on the court tonight, and some veterans, uh, that will be the next. And there will be a next, because there's always great players that come around. UD is one of them. I know this for a fact that a player's greatest fear is his fear of extinction. But what he fears more than that is to one day become extinct with insignificance. And what that means to me is that a player simply wants to know that somewhere his career, his play, his personality, his power, his force mattered and it counted. Udonis Haslam, his force mattered and it counted. And that's one of the reasons why we're hanging his jersey here today. You don't merely want to be considered the best of the best. You want to be considered the only ones who do what you do. There's nothing wrong in separating yourself from the pack. There's nothing wrong in, in making yourself unique and to make sure that one day you do leave footprints. Udonis Haslam is gonna leave a very big footprint and that footprint right now is gonna lead right over here to this jersey. Go to the Rich still love me, baby. Jump from Bay County. See how my seven trays, Chevrolet, and Paula don't ride it. I blow your doors off. You race your car, it's my car. In your ass so far, you will doze off. And when I take off, it's like I took off. And when I ride by, it's like I fly by.